Okay, folks, and here we have a really neat feature that's free in the Unreal Engine right now. You can now add um, communication uh, with Discord in your projects, whether they're uh, games, applications, uh, or whatnot. Um, you could even probably make a widget that could sit on the right side of something while you muck around and do stuff. As you can see, free. There's a whole bunch of other things in there. If you just click the this little free thing in the marketplace, you go up to the marketplace and just cl click on free here, you'll see a whole bunch of free stuff today. Um, something about Edith, Edith Finch, uh, it's sort of kiddie kind of animated stuff. But uh, yeah, so, you know, just go scrolling through some of this. I'll have to give this, I set up a project, I'm going to muck around with things too and see what I can do and see if I can set it up for my own channel and then I, I just, you know, maybe make a few things and then I got a communication app, you know, it's different to set up some text boxes and different things to whatever. Unreal Engine 4 plug in to send messages to Discord use, uh, during runtime using an HTTP request. Now. The problem I have with that is uh, it doesn't look, I'll have to look into this, but it doesn't look encrypted. But this is a good step. Once you can be able to do this, then you can add the, um, what do you call it, SSL or whatever it is, encryption to make sure that things are encrypted so that your communication back and forth isn't being sniffed, okay, which is uh, a security issue, right? Uh, it's also a privacy issue, you know, you don't want to be, uh, you know, having a chat in, in, in a game with your girlfriend or something or somebody and that to go public because that's private stuff, man, or whatever, right? But you also need to understand that you got to then add some features in where if there's an issue where there's some bullying or there's there's toxic players that you're able to, you know, go in and say well let's log this user and see what they're up to okay because they, they seem like they're a bad person and then when you're done you make a decision whatever you can destroy a log or, or show it to the person saying look this is how you were acting like a jerk you're out of here or whatever you do cancel their chat for a while put them in a corner and say bad user that kind of thing you know you don't have to be you don't have to go twitter like and psh, out you go right somebody buys something they should still be able to use it however you know you, you don't no one has the right to go and bother anybody else really uh, let's see yeah so it's for Windows Mac and Linux which is another good thing so this is cross-platform um, oh so you can even send files uh, this looks complicated Support sending files out, ping, JPEG, GIF, text, and MP4. Oh, really? What's the size? Uh, Discord's upload limit for files. So you got the 8 meg limit. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And you can only send a maximum of 10. I would reduce that when I was thinking of users. You get 100 bad users, go, let's spam the system. Right? have like a hourly limit of say five files right and then you can just send text something like that right where you're, you're not using up all your bandwidth you're not having spam issues you're not being you know all that that's cool anyway guys see you later where is this uh,